Good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic. Today is Thursday, May the 27th, 2021. And this morning we have a very special prayer request. We pray this morning for Miss Davila's aunts, Heidi and Elsa Villa. Both of them have recently been diagnosed positive with the COVID virus. They live in Peru and are very close to Miss Davila. The news, as you can imagine, is devastating to the family. Currently, uh, Aunt Elsa is in hospital, and Ms. Davila believes greatly in prayer, and she and her family ask for our support this morning. So as we pray, we ask to please keep Ms. Davila and her aunts in your prayers, and as well as any other intentions that you may hold this day. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have heard it that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 43 to 44. Loving God, today we reflect on the gift of your Son. When we look at his example, we know that each of us is called to a life of service and compassion. He did not associate with the rich and the established Rather, he chose to spend time with the lowly and the poor and the outcast. Help us to live in solidarity with the people that Jesus chose to spend time with. May our actions help create a world where love prevails. We pray that we have the courage, the strength, and the wisdom to respond to this call fully and completely. God of all people, who is our brother? Who is our sister? You taught us that all people from all walks of life, all religions, all cultures are our brothers and sisters. We desire to hold all people in our arms, embracing them and loving them as our brothers and sisters. Help us to continue in feeding the hungry, freeing the oppressed, healing the sick and loving the outcast. Help us, O oh God, to live as one human family. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now together through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, please join me as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Teresa of Avila, pray for us. And St. Patrick, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic, and uh, let's get uh, started with our morning announcements. A reminder from Student Council. Student Council invites you to our year-end grade meets uh, beginning yesterday, actually beginning Tuesday on the 25th, uh, and right through until tomorrow at 11.30 a.m., uh, you can join Google Classroom for more information with the following code 3YZR5JC. Again, that's for uh, year-end grade meets. Join us tonight, everyone, for Cardinals Cry. That's right, at 8 p.m. at core.ca as we celebrate pandemic heroes at Cardinal Ambrosic. We will be interviewing staff and community members of Cardinal Ambrosic, thanking them for their sacrifice and service during the ongoing pandemic. And I do have a list here of our guests this evening, and uh, let me share them with you. So this evening, we will have with us, and again, it's a celebration, right? It's, it's a thank you to our in-house heroes, those here at Cardinal Ambrosic that um, continue to sacrifice and give so much during this last year and a bit. Uh, so we will have, we will begin first with our ERW. So we will have Ms. Squigna, Ms. La Caprucha, Ms. Davila joining us, and we look forward to that. Uh, we will also have two of our teachers joining us, Ms. Grando and Ms. Joannis, to talk to us a little bit about the impossible that they were asked to do. Trust me, I know, uh, in terms of instruction online. Uh, we will have custodians represented by Naz Mazzatelli, so we will have our lead hand with us. We will also have some parents join us. We will have Karen Dancy, who is the chair of our um, school council, or student ca school council, sorry, as well as Joe Angelini, who is a parent of one of our core members. And uh, Joe is also a funeral director. And so he'll talk to us a little bit about the continued respect and, and the accommodations during the pandemic for families that still lost their loved ones and how, that was, uh, how he was impacted by that. Uh, and then we will finally end the evening uh, with a registered nurse. And again, I had her name here. I, I, I feel terrible. 
Uh, I feel terrible because I had her name here with me the other day. Oh, there we go. Diana Nicolau. Diana is a cousin of uh, one of our core members. And uh, she is a registered nurse in the emergency room. And she's over at Etobicoke General Hospital. So uh, you can imagine the stories that we will hear from her, the, the, the stark reality of, of the COVID-19 pandemic. So Diana will also be joining us. And again, uh, Dr. Bajwa, unfortunately, um, cannot join us for a full 10, 15 minutes, but he will try to get in if possible. He is working the emergency shift uh, in the emergency room uh, shift uh, during that time. Uh, and he's been so... Um, so part of us, so present this year uh, in our community. So we're hoping that Dr. Badra could also join us. Again, that's tonight, 8 p.m. at core.ca. Please join us. Also, I will be including, again, the diversity survey. Uh, just to give you a quick update, as of last night, probably around 10 o'clock, we had 118 submissions. Isn't that awesome? So let's keep them coming uh, so that we can uh, continue the work of our uh, interfaith share group here at CA uh, to ensure that we uh, continue fostering dialogue and respect for all faith traditions and experiences. And tomorrow we will be praying the divine mercy. We will end the week as we always do at 3 p.m. at Ambrosic Chaplaincy, praying the divine mercy chaplet. And that's it, Cardinal Ambrosic. I hope you have a wonderful day. Looks like a beautiful, sunny, 18-degree weather day. Uh, God bless you, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. And tomorrow is Friday. Yes, it's a short week. Can you imagine? We're already at Friday. Well, we still got a day, but tomorrow is Friday. So we'll see you back here tomorrow. God bless you.